This video is for patients undergoing anesthesia at St. Luke's International Hospital. We will talk about general anesthesia so that you can undergo surgery and anesthesia with peace of mind. This video addresses common topics. For more details regarding your specific procedure, please ask the anesthesiologist at the outpatient anesthesiology clinic. For infection control, please wear a disposable mask made of non-woven material while in the hospital, including the operating room. This video is about 9 minutes long and will address the topics listed here. First, the role of anesthesia. Surgery without anesthesia can be painful and frightening. Anesthesia is provided to alleviate such pain and anxiety. A team led by anesthesiologists will manage your overall condition to ensure that the surgery and anesthesia are performed safely. Second, preparations before surgery. Please remove all makeup and nail polish before you come to the operating room. We ask that you please shave your beard. Also, Remove any detachable items such as dentures, rings, and other accessories. Please remove contact lenses and wear glasses if you need them. There are restrictions on food and drinks before surgery. You cannot eat after midnight, but you can drink water until 6 a.m. on the day of surgery. At the Anesthesiology Outpatient Clinic, you will be seen by a pharmacist. Please bring your medication handbook and information regarding other medicines or supplements you use. You may also bring the actual products. Third, steps on the day of surgery. On the day of surgery, anesthesia will be administered after you are inside the operating room. In addition to the scheduled time for surgery, it takes about an hour to prepare and recover from anesthesia. Once you are awake after the surgery, you will be transferred to the recovery room or ward. This is the entrance to the operating room on the fourth floor. Our hospital has operating rooms on the second, third, fourth, and fifth floor. We will guide you to your scheduled operating room. Before entering the operating room, you will be asked for your name and date of birth to register and confirm your identity. After that, we will confirm your consent documents are in order and that the planned surgical site is correct. There are several operating rooms, so we will walk with you to your prepared room. If you are unable to walk, we will guide you in a wheelchair or a bed. After entering the room, please remain seated and wait. When instructed, lie on your back and we will prepare you for anesthesia to proceed safely. Electrocardiogram and pulse oximeter stickers are placed in your body. A blood pressure cuff is wrapped around one of your arms. The brain monitor and thermometer are placed on your forehead. An intravenous drip is needed to administer the anesthetic. If you already have an IV in place, we will use it as it is. However, if the IV is painful or uncomfortable, please let us know so we can replace it. The site and number of IVs will vary depending on the surgery. Before starting anesthesia, you will breathe oxygen through a mask. Place the mask securely and take deep breaths. We will start administering the anesthetic through your IV. Keep taking deep breaths. You may feel lightheaded, have ringing in your ears or cough. You may also feel a burning sensation in the arm where the IV is located due to the anesthetic, but this will pass shortly. After you are under anesthesia, a soft endotracheal tube will be inserted to help you breathe. It is usually inserted through the mouth and possibly the nose, depending on the surgery. 
The anesthesiologist will explain the procedure beforehand. Please be assured that the tube will be inserted after you are fully unconscious. During the surgery, we are always at your side managing anesthesia, allowing your surgeon to safely perform the surgery. After surgery, we will stop the flow of anesthetic and wake you up. The tracheal tube will be removed when you are able to breathe on your own again. It may take a few hours for your breathing to fully recover. We will have you wear an oxygen mask and please remember to take deep breaths whenever you can. After waking up from anesthesia, you will be observed for a while before returning to your inpatient room. If you're in pain, let us know using a scale from 0 to 10. 0 being no pain and 10 being the greatest pain you can imagine. It is difficult to eliminate all pain and discomfort immediately after surgery, but we will work to make you as comfortable as possible. 4. Possible Complications we previously mentioned that an endotracheal tube is inserted after you are under anesthesia. Very rarely, a loose tooth or other dental work may be damaged during insertion of the endotracheal tube. If you have dental concerns, please inform the anesthesiology outpatient clinic. A dental hygienist will see if needed. Also, to prevent complications, Please make an appointment with your dentist to have your teeth cleaned before surgery. If you are seeing your dentist, please inform them that you are scheduled for surgery under general anesthesia. Please have your teeth cleaned and treated at least one week prior to the day of surgery. Other possible complications will be discussed by the anesthesiologist at the anesthesiology outpatient clinic. Fifth, necessity of smoking cessation. If you have decided to have surgery, you must quit smoking. People who smoke have delayed wound recovery, more infections, and more pulmonary complications than those who don't. Each day after you quit smoking will help reduce these complications. Do not use e-cigarettes or heated tobacco products. The same warnings apply. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask us during your anesthesiology outpatient clinic visit.